Welcome, welcome, welcome to Jermaine All Natural. I am Jermaine Ryan. And in this video, I wanted to show you all my summer root, my summer skincare routine. So I don't change a whole lot with my skincare too often. I try different masks. I may try different toners, but the base of what I use when it comes to washing my skin doesn't change too much just because the oil that my skin produces never stops. It doesn't change. The only difference for my skin between winter and summer is that in the summertime, there's a layer of sweat on top of all of the oil. So I end up looking like a twilight vampire in the sunlight. In the winter, because the air is a lot drier, my skin does not get as glistening-y. What does change is the moisturizers that I use between winter and summer. So, backstory. Let's <laughs> fade into the <laughs> flashback. Two years ago, maybe two and a half years ago, I was at my local Lush. So it was when I was transitioning into more natural things for my face and skin and hygiene care. I was already buying the body washes and was like, okay, well, you know what? They have a ton of stuff in here. I don't look at anything else. Let me see what they have for skincare. So I discovered the cold face. And remember that any pop-up videos are always tagged down below. So was in there trying to figure out what they had was good for oily skin and keeping my skin as clear and as not oily, <laughs> oil-less. I was at the Delush in Somerset. The lady was helping me out and, you know, we were looking at a few different things. She was giving me some options and like I had tried a few samples of things and just nothing was really, really working for my skin. Like, you know, an hour or two after putting it on, the oil was just pouring through it. Greasy. And I'm like, all right, this isn't helping to minimize the oil throughout the day at all. The young lady was like, well, you know what? I might have a solution for you. She saw the real defeated look on my face like, And she was like, you know what? You should try this. And what she gave me to try was the magical Moringa. And she stopped me right before I got to the door and she was like, you know what? Take this. And she gave me the actual full size. It wasn't this one, but she gave me the a full size, which this is the full size here. And she showed it to me and I was like, this is a primer. It's a primer. Like. Women use this when they're prepping their skin for makeup. And she was like, trust me. I think I went to the store a week or two later and I was like, ma'am, sis, sis, you saved me from looking like a two-way mirror during the summer. I, I did not get her name. She was a black woman, super, super helpful, super, super friendly. And I think she was the store manager at the time. Like I said, this was two, two and a half, maybe three years ago. I asked about her later on. I think they said she went to another store and she was training for training people at another store. But this has been the best thing for my skin during the summertime. So on the front here, um, it says that it's going to mattify and prime the skin with silky argan and moringa oils. That was another thing that kind of threw me off because I'm like, wait, I'm going to use this on my skin and it has oils in it? And I mean, a lot of oils in here. And I was like, I, I was very, very skeptical of this. But it is 11.50 a.m. Is that going to show up? 11.50 a.m. My skin is freshly washed, so I'm going to apply it. So before I apply it, I do want to show it to you. So it is a very thick primer. Very, very thick. During the summer in my house, because I don't have air, it melts. So I have to normally mix it up. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and as you can see, it's already starting to melt. You see how it's getting kind of shiny there? <laughs>
all applied and it may not look like a world of difference. Um, my skin may not look too much different than what it did when I <laughs> first, first applied it. It, it, it's gonna, it's said to mattify and that's pretty much what it does. So I'm gonna take you throughout the day with me. I've got some running to do outside of the house. We're gonna definitely talk about what it said, what it did, and if there's anything that I need from it. Hey, it me. It might be kind of close. All right, so I am doing a update. It is, hold on, let's see what time it is. It is 4.29, if you can see that. And hold on, let me step out of the sun. So this is what my skin is looking like. As you can see, it has a healthy glow, but it's not oily looking at all whatsoever. Not bad, not bad. My eyelids don't feel heavy. I don't feel like I've got a pound of oil sitting on my eyelids. Ain't nobody got time for that. And um, yeah, so what time? 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. So for about a four hour check-in, sorry, hot chips. <laughs> hot chips and Starbucks. <laughs> so walking into the house now, I think I'm going out a little bit later. Okay, so I am checking in all day. It is currently 12, 30 in the a.m. so well over 12 hour day and if you can see my face is pretty decent and shiny yes precious i would say like hold on okay dry finger <laughs> oily finger but with a regular lotion this would be not like this like it would be a lot shinier so i am doing a secondary follow-up I was at my stepmom's on the last video and just the light wasn't really great. So I wanted to come home and get in front of my light. Um, just kind of give a real perspective, different perspective, different light to see what my skin really looks like. So it is now 128, if you can see that, 128. So what was it, 11.50 when I came earlier, 10.50, something like that. So very, very long day. But as you can see, my skin is, has a very healthy, oily shine to it. So for me and how I know my skin could be, this isn't bad. I feel like I might do a follow-up video with just a regular oil-free moisturizer just to kind of show a side-by-side -side difference because I know I keep saying it, but I feel like I need to just show it. Okay, so I wanted to check in just so that, because I always talk about how oily my face is and what it would be if I used regular lotion. So I have this very, you know, clean and clear, you can buy it anywhere, acne uh, control moisturizer, oil-free, salicylic acid and acne medication. Leave skin feeling soft and smooth. So I'm gonna use this on my skin today. This is not mine, uh, but I'm gonna use it on my skin just so that I can do a time comparison of when I use the Magical Moringa compared to just your regular, you know, facial facial clean uh, moisturizer. All right, I'll check in later. Hey, it me. I am following up uh, on just to show you when I say my face gets extremely oily, what it looks like. <laughs> so as you saw in the previous video or the previous clip, I used, you know, what was around the house. It was a clean and clear. It was an oil free moisturizer that was at 11 no I'm sorry, it's 12 15. I believe the, the time set, the time step on it right now. It is 7 37. So 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 hours later, look at my skin. Look at this. This this is the shininess that I was telling y'all about, like what my skin looks like with normal lotion, which is why I use the Magical Moringa Primer. Hold on. You want to see something? Look at this. Dry hands. I just washed my hands because I'm getting ready to cook. Completely dry. Look at it. Dry. Watch this. See the difference? Look at this finger. Wowzers. That little whole thing, no, just a dead one. Look at this finger. So when I say when my skin gets oily and you can literally rub my face and then moisturize yourself, I literally mean that. And look, and it's still oily. This isn't sweat, this is oil. And it's still oily just from that section that I wiped with my dry hands. My God, you're greasy. I have to go wash my face. My eyelids feel heavy. I have to go wash my face. <laughs> I hope y'all appreciate 
this because this is so uncomfortable to have this heaviness on my face. I hope you appreciate <laughs> me showing you what extremely oily skin really looks like. Hey, it me. All right, so I am closing out my video on my summer skin moisturizer that I use, which is the Magical Moringa. Very, very big reflective difference between the two. My face was so oily. It's been such a long time since I've used a regular, just regular moisturizer. I, I forgot really how uncomfortable and just gross my skin feels when I use regular moisturizers and just how the oil just feels heavy and my eyelids feel heavy and like it starts dripping in my eye and then my eyes are white, just greasy. I endured a full day of just uncomfortable, gross, oily skin. Just to really show you guys when I say how oily my skin gets, that you can really see how oily it gets. That being the case, I still want to talk about the Magical Moringa. We're going to talk about what it said, what it did, and if there's anything that I need from it. So according to the website, it says it is going to moisturize and prime the skin at the same time. And it's also going to leave, my, leave your skin feeling velvety and matte. Definitely, definitely does it. And it's crazy because there are a lot of oils in here. And you just, you just wouldn't think that something that's packed full of oils would actually mattify your skin and moisturize it at the same time. Like, how they do that? Very good. All right. I don't, I don't, this is all I use in the summer. There he is! Every single day. I am definitely open to trying other moisturizers to see how well they work with my oily skin, but this, <laughs> this part. <laughs> Dis. 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 <laughs> nothing, nothing compares. Every second of it, every second of it, I love it. So if you are someone that does have very, very oily skin, and I would even say even maybe for combination skin, I would definitely say give this a whirl. Or if you are someone that wears makeup, I don't, but it's a primer. I don't know if I spoke about the smell at all. Um, the smell, it's not a very, very strong smell. I think it's just, it smells to me like a blend of just oils, but it doesn't smell oily at the same time. It's, it's pleasant, it's light. All information for it will be linked down below. Like I said, highly, highly recommend. And it is also vegan if I didn't mention it before. Um, highly recommend. These are a few of my favorite things. Goodness, they're, mm. Mm. Also, any videos that have popped up will also be tagged down below. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. That should be right over here to like this video. Push the subscribe button. Punch the notification bell so that you can stay rest of when I post my videos. And please share this video if you feel like someone could benefit or learn something from it. All right. Once again, thank you for tuning in to Jermaine All Natural, and I will see you in my next video.